So Richard, with you with a swimming background, did that contribute to Sam's excellence in swimming? And, you know, is that partly why he's so strong in the swim? I don't know. I mean, Sam's always been. We, we don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, it's it sort of Sam's always been had. We've had restrictions with Sam swimming the whole time. We've never been able to swim on a daily basis like a lot of triathletes or a lot of swimmers do. And so it was at a time where sort of Sam was swimming sort of once or twice a week. Uh, and obviously every single session we had to get the most out of the actual swim. Yeah. Also, when Sam was really young, uh, and again, it's a lot, with a lot of clubs, both swimming clubs and triathlon clubs, they get sort of younger children and they can swim relatively fast, but their technique is really bad. Yeah. So they basically just let them swim because they're swimming fast and go into competitions. And then as they get older, they sort of grow out of their swim technique and they need to have a swim technique that is sort of a, an adult swim technique. They, they can put their strength, they can put their power into the water. And from a young age, I was always aware of sort of this and I kept sort of doing a lot of work with Sam to try and get him to have an adult stroke and then he would actually grow into his stroke as he got older. Uh, we've never been sort of somebody that has been sort of the short term. I want Sam to win championships tomorrow. Uh, we've always been looking at it as a long term program. Um, and obviously it takes time to develop. So that's one of the reasons I think why Sam is a very, very good swimmer is we've, we've taken our time to develop him as a, a strong efficient uh, swimmer. Yeah, and I also think we kind of left a uh, certain room for improvement. So you get you get the kind of culture of like you when you're to be a good swimmer, uh, you have to swim like loads when you're young. And uh, I guess it's true if you want to be one of the best swimmers in the world. But um, for in, in our case, in triathlon, I mean, I'm miles away from the best swimmers in the world. It's a very, we need to look at the individuality of, of our discipline, uh, which is like a 1900 meter swim in open water or, or a frequent AK swim. And, uh, and kind of I've, I've slowly grown into into being good at that discipline, but actually in pure, in pure times in the pool, there's like there's probably 200 triathletes to swim quite a bit faster than me uh, in the world. So um, yeah, I seem to we seem to have done it right, uh, and also I just feel maybe genetically out of the three sports, it's probably what comes easiest. I'd say. So I mean, it's it's always fascinating to me to to figure out why people are why people are fast swimmers. And I always use this story of saying that my first ever my first ever national champs, I came out like in the last 10 kids of the water out of like 140 kids. So. Uh, you can you can work your way to I'm not saying you can work your way to the, being the best but certainly to be amongst the best um obviously I'm in a unique situation where I, I was in the water still relatively young but also I feel with most uh, age groupers like 90% of the time swimming is their weakness in, in Ironman anyway and uh yeah. I feel I feel like you need to look at it as a whole and and if you want to if you want to progress you need to look at okay let's say you want to do a 10 hour Ironman you're only spending what an hour in the water even if we improve 10% in the, in the water, like your, your Ironman swim time by 10%, which is huge in terms of investment, like that relatively, it's so much easier to gain maybe one or 2% on the bike, you know? So I, I feel sometimes you just have to accept like what your weaknesses are and not overthink it. And actually that not overthinking it is actually what's almost helped me. I've had periods yeah. where I've swam a lot more uh, and now it's kind of, I mean, we've almost put swimming like to a side and just focused on, on biking and running and kind of we're almost permanently surprised more because I guess I have a more relaxed mindset when I go in the water. I'm not too, I'm not focusing on times every time I hit the pool. And I think that's what happens with a lot of uh, amateurs out there. I also think that it sort of, a lot of swimmers go to master swim club or they go to a swimming club itself. And swimming in the pool is a completely a different sport to swimming in open water. So you can get lots of people that can swim really fast in the swimming pool, as Sam was saying. But as soon as you put them into the open water, then it, it, it's different. So you, there is a completely, for me, a different technique into that. Um, and so at the moment, I don't think there's that many sort of coaches out there sort of in the triathlon world or in there even sort of the swimming world that really understand that you've got to, you've got to look at your, your muscular strength, your muscular endurance actually with a good technique in the open water to actually get through it. Yep. It's totally different. I mean, with the siding and with the waves and with, you know, drafting somebody and no walls and all these conditions totally change the game for you. And the vast majority of people don't really swim in the open water as their main, their main place of training. So I suppose that's a big difference. 
Yeah, I mean, sand doesn't train that much in open water. We, I mean, we're lucky we've got the sea and we have lakes here that we actually swim in, and you have done it in the past. But realistically, again, it's sort of in the water, what we found is people start to swim lazily. Yeah, so there's no times that they, they can't swim that hard. They can't swim that, that strong uh, in the actual open water because they're too busy sighting, they're too busy going through. It's sort of specific drills and specific exercises that we do in the swimming pool that make sort of you a stronger, more stable swimmer there for open water. And then you can put that practice into the open water itself. Yeah, I think there's a lot There's a lot of specific things you can do in, in the pool, but also um, like if, you were, if we were to compare it, like the best swimmers in the world do actually spend a, a huge amount of time in the pool, like even if they're open water swimmers. Um, but and you could compare that, I guess, to like a track, uh, even a marathon runner. A marathon runner will still do loads of sessions on the track. It's something about the right. um, just the kind of formal starting, stopping, timing, and just having the fluidity. And I think, yeah, you just you don't get lazy, and you don't kind of get. I, I feel if I swim too much in, in open water, I kind of get slow, and almost you, I lose a bit of uh, a bit of snap. I would say. <laughs>